I will press F10 this is my BIOS and uh, uh, in order to turn the Wi-Fi on you, all you need is to go to configuration no exit and uh, load setup defaults okay so uh, there's no any uh, visible option for the Wi-Fi or any particular device but what it does it will basically turn on all the onboard devices of the uh, computer okay or the laptop so basically when you will press enter and it will say load setup defaults and you have to uh, check yes okay so the default settings have been loaded now make sure that you save these changes okay by pressing uh, selecting this option so you will hit yes okay but before I do that uh, sometimes uh, we use uh, multiple stations uh, like uh, using the software like uh, VMware uh, to operate uh, a different uh, virtual system in Windows okay like Linux or some other so we turn this option virtualization technology uh, on uh, to do that okay but when you will uh, load the default setup okay it will be uh, disabled so make sure if you are using any uh, secondary uh, operating system uh, uh, any virtual operating system in your windows so then make sure that re-enable it okay and then go to the uh, exit and choose this exit saving changes and uh, press yes okay so now when uh, the windows uh, gets restarted you will see that the devices like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on so this is normal okay so that's how you uh, turn the Wi-Fi on without using keyboard as you can see that I have this uh, Bluetooth keyboard um, like uh, the actual keyboard on my laptop was not working and uh, this is uh, the solution I came up with thanks for watching